an awesome view. I like it. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Mizzen Zock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. So today we're going to be talking all about the uh, Grotty Cheetah Classic. That brand new car brought out to uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm just looking at my views. I think some people were asking me, it might have been JC, was asking me uh, what I thought of the uh, new office and if I had any uh, uh, regrets. And I'd say I missed the $2 million extra I had to pay. But uh, other than that, I really like these views. Yeah, this is the uh, the first floor garage and it has a, uh, a great view. And the auto shop also does too. And the office itself has a great view, although it's not quite dead on on the coast. It's more like this way. But maybe we'll look at that in another episode. Some nice daytime views. But I'm really happy with the change other than the $2 million uh, that I could have used. So I've just worked my way back up to just over $2 million, barely. As long as we get this done before the day charges me any money, and then I'll be under a $2 million again. <laughs> but that's okay. We know how to make money, so we can do it. And this blank spot right here is going to be for our grotty Cheetah Classic. Yeah. All right. So let's order that, and uh, let's get to it. So I think I'm going to hop in here. Maybe we'll just sit right in here. Can I get any sit in here and just order? I think I can. So this is our little Ferrari collection. We've got the Grotty Stinger over there, and the red car over there in the, in the uh, side. And uh, this one's the Turismo Classic. They brought it a little while ago. So to some people, they're kind of old, older style retro Ferraris. So this will be kind of our Ferrari collection. And now we're gonna have the, uh, the uh, Grotty Cheetah Classic, which to some people, and I agree with it, it's kind of a, um, a uh, Ferrari Testarossa. So let's get in there because it's the legendary motorsport. And there she is. Part of the gun riding DLC for whatever reason. Seats too. The Karate Cheetah Classic. So we had a look at this in the news episode, I think, a little while ago, but we'll we'll have a look at it and read it again. It had a pretty funny, funny description, as many of them do. It's a great looking car. Instantly looks like the old Ferraris and the uh, reminds me of San Andreas and Vice City. It's great. Yeah. So to some people this is uh, obviously a Ferrari Testarossa, but it's also got hints of uh, what would be known as a Far Ferrari uh, 512 BB. I think it's uh what is it, a Berlena? Berletta? Uh, boxer. Yeah, it's kind of a race car back in the day. Yeah. But more, I, I agree, it's more of a Testarossa. Testarossa, I should say. A little bit after that, that the part. Yeah. So, anyway, Chia Classic for 865000 there's a kind of charm that only comes with age, and in today's jaded world, nothing's aged better than the Cheetah Classic. It's practical, spacious, understated. It oozes red-blooded panache. You open the door, and you catch the smell of brandy and cigars on its breath. It's eminently respectable. It's constantly groping its secretary, and it doesn't even feel the need to pretend it has friends from minority groups. Welcome to the old world. <laughs> oh, so, anyway. So I was thinking about getting a red one to match our other two red Ferraris. It's kind of boring, but it's it's uh, it's a Ferrari, you know. It's, it's it just looks great in red. But I think I might shake it up actually. Now that I'm a little bit behind on this, um, I, I had some troubles with my my Windows 10 system. But that's beside the point. It took me a little longer than I wanted to to get this all together the way I liked it. So it gave me time to think about it. And I think we're actually going to try this one in black. I think, uh, you know, a lot of the classic uh, Ferrari Testarossa uh, colors were actually white, black, and red. Although you would see other colors out there, but those were probably the most common colors. I'd say Ferrari uh, red, obviously, but but lots and lots and lots of blacks and whites. I think we're going to order that in red. We'll have a look at the classic Ferrari, and then I think we might try it out in black and see if I can give it some red hints. Yeah, just like uh, some of them would have been. All right, so let's order that. Buy now. Take my money. Order. Uh, let's see, uh, we're going to send it to our Del Perro Bites apartment. Purchase pending. G Classic will be delivered shortly. Sounds awesome. Thank you very much, Motorsport. Alright, let's go. Yeah, big fan of the Turismo. So, uh, apparently uh, the new car that we're just about to get, the Cheetah Classic, actually gives the Turismo a run for its money on the track. So when it comes to sports classics cars, apparently, for the most part, the Turismo here, the Turismo Classic is king right now for tracked um, courses. Okay, so not top speed, but tracked courses, which to some people is the most important. Most of the time, in my opinion too, you rarely get up to top speed, really, in most races. Most of the time you're, you're doing laps of some sort or turns of some sort. So to some people, the lap speed is more important. And the uh, Turismo is number one, but now giving it a run for money, although I think it's still technically two, but just behind it is the car that we're getting right now, which is the um, the Grotty Cheetah Classic. And I got my t-shirt on and everything for it, <laughs> you guys didn't notice. I don't even know where I picked that up, but somewhere along the way I got a I got an unlock shirt that's a Grotty shirt. Yeah, the owner's clip. 
<laughs> All right, that's just a mariachi tornado that we parked in here. I might put some other utility vehicles here in the future. So any moment, now oh, there it is, yay! All right, I'd jump if I could in here. <laughs> All right, look at that, ain't she sweet? Wow, yep, very retro style. Instantly makes you think of the old fries. Or cheetahs, depending on whether you're thinking of the game or real life. Yep. Excellent. Let's hear what she sounds like. Ooh, nice. A little bit of a hum in there, too. Yep, that's some uh, different stock rims. I don't know if I like them or anything. They're chrome. But it's nice when they give it something new. You know, something that's not just reused old ones. But I don't think I've seen those ones before. That front and back... Uh, License plates. Hmm. All right. Standard horn. What do you want, hey, I don't know if you're saving up that crystal for. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm going to be paying a Ferrari payment very soon, so <laughs> hold on to that for me. <laughs> All right. Now I am on a public server, but <laughs> we'll be okay. Well, we're all by ourselves. Perfect. Even better. Okay, so there she is in stock. I like it. I like that a lot. Yep. Yeah, she's going to look even better once we get her done up. Nice. Ding. Welcome home. Welcome home, Cheetah. <laughs> All right. Put it with its grotty sisters. So, now you guys can see my little Ferrari collection right here. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so now we're going to take it right into the R Auto Shop and see what we can do with it. What's she need then? Now what do you need? Alright. Yeah, we managed to catch the sun today. It's a little blinding, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> so I mean, the front, uh, the Auto Shop does have a nice view. Actually, before we uh, 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 exit vehicle, we get into that. Before that sun goes away, look at that, that's crazy corona. Barely see out the window. Yeah, so it's like tinted windows, I think, in here, by the looks of it, but it still comes through, just bright as can be. Whoa, super sock. <laughs> Alright, let's get our uh, grotty tree smoke going here. Or tree smoke, I keep calling it the tree smoke. It's the cheetah waiting for this one for a long time actually like I said looking forward for this one yeah. thought about the old uh, Lamborghini the Inferno's classic and now we've got the old Ferrari although we've got the other one too the trees mode but they're different styles but this is definitely a very classic style so let's get it armored up armor for fifty thousand dollars all right brakes race brakes for thirty five thousand let's get our plate changed hey we can do that oh, that's good girl is looking good yes she is Yellow and black are missing sock plates. Yep, yeah, I think we're gonna lower it. That goes without saying. So, sport suspension, three thousand four hundred. Give you the right amount of balance. Transmission, hmm, lots of levels of transmission. Super transmission. Hmm, for fifty thousand. Now you'll get the best. Of it. Nice, super transmission. All right. <laughs> turbo, turbo turning for for another fifty thousand. The cops stop you. Don't tell them I installed them. Nice. So let me do the engine tunes. Level four for thirty-three thousand five hundred. There we go. What kind of exhaust they got? Carbon-tipped exhaust, titanium exhaust, and carbon-tipped large exhaust. Guys, kind of go with the under that you can probably see a lot of the silver of the engine. So, we'll get that for 3,000. Alright. Okay, now the bumpers. Now, unfortunately, these lights do not work. Well, the front lights do lurk. If you guys can see right there, these lights that we haven't used yet, they pop out and work. But these lights here do not work, apparently. So, another one of those cars that has uh, lights that don't work. What can we do to it? Alright. Now, you can what do can it. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Nice. Better sunset. 
All right, guys, so yeah, unfortunately, um, this is actually a break in the video, so just coming back into it. And unfortunately, there was a bit of a issue Whatever online with uh, Rockstar servers with the, uh, with the PC right. servers. So unfortunately, computers were kind of uh, having a lot of issues, if not outright down for a good day, if not two for some people. So anyway, it took me a little bit to get this one done, and now we're getting back to it. I tried a couple times, but it just wasn't letting me. So uh, now I think we're going to be successful. So now we're back in here. Some of our modifications are still on there and saved. But we don't need to. But as you can see, we've still got the armor in here. Still thinks I haven't been in here, which is kind of funny. It's got the stars, but we obviously have already been in here. You know, I've already bought the armor. So I'm just going to double check that everything still worked. Oh, well, we were going to change our, our paint job. I think that's where we left off, too. Yeah, so let's do that, too. Let's just hop right in there. I'll check the other stuff as we go along. But I did want to change my plate. I did change that before, but uh, now I got changed back again. All right, so back into the respray. Now, before we get into uh, my choice, you know, it looks really good in red. I don't know about that orange stripe there. And the stripe itself is a uh, secondary color, as we were saying earlier. So it's kind of unfortunate. I wish they had this as a livery, you know, a livery, livery, whatever. Um, you know, as a sticker livery kind of thing. That way you could actually have a secondary color without having a stripe. It's too bad that they made it like this. But, oh well, nonetheless, it's it's all right. It's it's a good look, I guess. It's just be nice if it was optional, you know, for the stripe itself. Um, now, you guys may not notice much of the secondary color, but but there is secondary options for the for the front uh, bumper, right? And the back bumper and things like that in the engine hood. So so the secondary color does have a, um, a few different places it shows up in. And it would be nice if you if the stripe was optional to go with or without Making it. Making decisions right? is stressful. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so red's obviously a very popular color. We just got to see that for a moment classic red Ferrari and I think another classic look for this kind of car would be uh, let's see we'll, we'll go into Metallic. yeah classic is fine oh that's secondary I'm still in secondary <laughs> yeah do you need a drink? Metallic, but it'd be white or something? so ice white cream for some people yeah but that would be another classic Ferrari I don't know about the stripe but in white and I was actually really tempted to do this in whites because it's such a classic look. But I think I'm going to do a dark one because I think it'll look good. You know, black was another classic look for the Ferraris, although not as common. You've seen lots of reds, lots of whites, but there was plenty of blacks. So I did want to do it with black and red. Um, I think I might have mentioned that earlier, but but uh, but I just don't think there's enough red options uh, for the interior and things like that to do the effect for uh, the Ferrari effect that I was looking for. So we might have to do something a little different. But now into what I was going to pick. So for our main one, I think I'm going to pick the anthracite black. Yeah, I like that anthracite black. It looks really good. Let's change that stripe soon too. If you can think it, I can do it. Let's change that right now because I just want to see that. Um, hmm. Probably a classic is fine. I don't know if we really need the metallic on the uh, on the stripe. Oh yeah, it'll show up in other places, so I'm just going to change that now, actually. I wasn't thinking about it, I was just thinking it does show up in other places, so we'll go in metallic. And all the way around. Come on. Find our black. There it is. Girl right. is looking good. And the red with the black stripe, if you ask me, looks a little bit better anyway than that orange. But maybe that's just me. Okay, so primary. Going into our metallic. Now that we're back in here, now you can see a full black. Yeah, very classic look for a Ferrari, for a Testarossa, for our Cheetah Classic. Yep. But um, you I think I'm going to throw it off a little Technology bit, put the anthracite black. That way you can kind of just make out the stripe, you know, but it's subtle. And then when you do this, you know, the black, there's a lot of black little highlights um, in the vents and then the down here on the, the little grotty line here, a little bit of a carbon strip. And a few other little places where you see black, like around the lights and around the front grill. And when you go full black, it kind of blends it in. It's okay though, actually. It's not as bad as matte black. I do love How matte black. But it kind of blends it in a little bit. I found something like an anthracite black. It just kind of offsets it a little bit so that those black uh, parts still come through, like are on the window, without blending into the car. Yet still being a black car, if that makes sense. Right? So black on black, but you can see the black on black, which is easier said than done. So there we go. That is done. Now I might add a pearlescence, might change it, we'll see. 
Yeah, maybe we'll do have a quick look. So it's on black steel right now. I was thinking about changing it to a darker pearlescence. Although, you, you know, I'll just let you guys have a look at the uh, colors for a second. You can change this to all kinds of ways, like that silver is kind of nice. Using the ice white to make like a silver on there. It's pretty nice. You can make a lot of different color displays. See, this is the uh, sunset that's fading behind us here from my window there. You can see that coming through. So it has a nice effect on a lot of these uh, pearlescent paint jobs. The metallic. Yeah, the ultra blue just sticks right in. I don't know if I'd like that, but, you know, it sticks Life right in. hard when you can have anything. Yeah. Anyway, I am going to go with a darker anthracite black than the, uh, than the pearlescent they normally use. By default, the dark steel, or black steel, which isn't too bad, actually. But I think I'm going to go with the darker one. Yeah, black. Just gives it, a, gets rid of that shine a little bit, keeps it dark. Okay, so trim color. Let's hop into our third person. Okay, so it does look good in the black, actually. It really does. Graphite, I guess it is, actually. Yeah, there's black, which is still pretty sharp. We'll just go quickly through those colors again. Brown. Browns are nice. Making decisions is make lots of leathery looking insides. Bison brown actually matches it pretty well, too. And the creek brown does too. Yeah, it's not bad. I was gonna do with a red interior to kind of give it that Ferrari look, but like I said, without enough red, it just doesn't quite work right. It's almost too much red in the way that they've got the uh, interior. You know, as opposed to just like red carpets on the floor or something, right? Yeah. Do you need a drink? I don't even think you get carpets Bubbles on the floor. No. Or something? So there's our candy red. You got the Grotti logo on the inside too, so. Let's see what else we can find. Torino red. That's a bright red. And lava red. They don't have a formula red in the uh, trim color. Is that just me? No, they don't. Well, isn't that strange? Formula red shows up everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen it missing. Well, still, close enough choices. So there's the red. With the tinted windows, it would look better. But as you can see, I'm not big on this dashboard being red, you know. But if I could just have the red interiors or red carpets and stuff, you know, just subtle red in there, that'd be all right. It's too bad. It would be more, a little bit more classic, if you ask me, but it's just not going to work with this, I don't think, guys. For me, anyway. <laughs> Bronze? That's not bad. If you can think it, I can do it. But I'm thinking that uh, that subtle brown actually might be best. Chocolate brown. Yeah, we have that in our V12 shafter. It looks a lot different in that car, but it does look nice. Bison brown, creek brown, Fultz brown. I'm thinking that creek brown actually, guys. Whatever I don't know what you guys think, but I'm looking for something that doesn't uh, that, that goes with it, right? That's nice, but doesn't stand out too much. Like, like you know, like a bright yellow would, you know. So, unless that's the kind of color car you're going for. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, just gonna have a quick look at the browns. There's that saddle brown. That's not bad either. So let's see, creek brown. But it's just a little bit darker too. Looks almost as good as you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> she is always sweet talking me. <laughs> okay, so you can also put your crew emblem on it. So that's good to know. I'm not going to bother. Uh, Alright, so now we've got our colors, and now it's a little easier to go back through the other ones, because, you know, sometimes I think you should just go right to your color, so that you can figure out the other stuff quicker. So race breaks it there. Now Life we can get into the bumpers. Now they have stock. It's interesting, it's all stock, so, so primary and secondary. And the retro, just kind of changes your lights right there, and it kind of sticks it out a little bit more right there, too. A little bit more of a bump underneath, right? And then we go into, and they're different colors, primary and secondary. And then we go into sport. Making decisions is stressful. And sport, you've got a little bit more details. You got a little bit more lines in the front grill and a little bit more lines along here. Yeah, some horizontals and verticals along here. So I kind of like that sport. It's not too bad. 
I kind of like how they all kind of generally keep the same look as you go along. Don't change it too much. Keeps that for a little while. So I think I'm going to go a secondary. Just so it has that little bit of a darker one that we've picked for our secondary. You can barely even make it out, but it's just given that, you know, see there's the primary and then secondary, and it just kind of gives it just a little bit of darker framing. I like that. And it matches our stripe. So the stripe comes right down to the grill now. All right, rear bumpers. Stock rear bumper, stock with secondary paint. Well, simple, but I'm gonna pick. Oh, do I want the stock with secondary? That throws it off a little bit, but then you think about it and it's all here, it's all secondary. Second, and this is almost secondary for us because it's black besides. Oh, we got black there. I think I'm gonna pick no it. Rush at all. There we go, secondary black for our bottom rear bumper. All right, engine we already fixed, yeah. But there's the engine block, all right. Okay, so there's the engine color in primary, and in secondary. I think we're gonna change that to secondary, so it's got the solid black. There we go. Nice, I like that. If you can think it, Exhaust we already picked, car tipped. Fenders. Rear fender. Oh, right there. That's what we're looking. So, vented rear fender too. So, that's the regular stock, which isn't actually not bad, very classic look. Invented rear fender. Oh, I see the vents changed up here now. I was going to say, what's the difference? Vented rear fender, huh? Vented rear fender too gives you an interior and a top one. And then the classic rear fender. Well, I guess that's just open, very open. No, no fins in there at all. Hm. And classic rear fender too. Whatever you desire, technology and budget permitting. Well, that's that's a hard one. The stock's very classic too. Oh, and I see, and you've also got these back fins too, guys. So the other one has the top fins here, like top fins, as they would be. So you can see those right there on the top. But when you go to classic, it's got the back ones. And I like that better. And I think we'll go with two, so we get the inner fins, why not? Oh, the open is kind of nice, but it gives a little bit more detail like. Classic rear fender two it is. All right, so there's our fenders. Now hood. Okay, so there's a stock hood, sport hood. Retro hood. Okay. Retro hood with the primary. So it just blends right in versus the regular. It's too bad they don't just give it the black, uh, regular black like they did in the other spots around here. Hmm. But we can fix that with our retro hood with secondary paint. That's why I picked it as black. Well, a lot of the classic Ferraris, the 512s, did have a lot of these lines. If you look at them. I might go with that as a classic retro look. Even though I do like that hidden look, this one. Yeah. Headlights, see that lights. I've got that installed for you. Neon kits, yeah, I don't think so. Not for this one, although it wouldn't be too bad, you know, in a Vice City kind of way. And we already picked plates. Hey, roof, roof options. What do we have? Karate Sunstrip. Oh, nice. White sunstrip and gray on white, white on gray, I guess. And blue badge and the nation. And no rush at all. This would be Italian flag there. Kind of cool. Offsets it goes with my shirt, <laughs> but it doesn't quite go with the car too much. But sometimes that's nice because it makes it stick out, right? So the blue not quite right either. That's actually probably a decent match for it if I was to pick one. And the white's not too bad in an offsetting kind of way. If you can think it, I can do it. Yeah, if I was to pick one, it'd probably be that gray one to go with it. But you know what, guys? I'm not going to pick it. <laughs> I think I like it without it. So, no sunstrip. And skirts. Although I like that they gave you the option. Primary color, secondary. Good. Ridged. Okay, so 
if I can Whatever you desire. zoom in a little bit there. there Technology and budget permitted. It's a little bit of a ridge now. Okay. But it gets rid of the grotty logo though though. That's no good. Hmm. Primary color. And secondary. Well it's nice, but I like that. I like the grotty logo on there. I don't know why they would have gotten rid of that. It's too bad. But we are gonna officially make it a uh, a secondary color now. How many cards why not? You got and then it just matches it. You know. Not a sort of match, but a full match for their secondary color all around. Okay, spoiler. So none, and when we have retro spoilers. Wow, well, look at all that. And then retro GT spoiler, retro race spoiler, classic spoiler. That's a very classic look. Yeah, none's not bad. That's like definitely the uh, Vice City look. Think long and uh, San Andreas. I do like that. That's a little window. Classic spoiler too. Cool. GT spoiler. So there you've got the back fin, which does count as spoiler and does give you the attraction increase, which it shows right here. And you can also have it with the spoiler, so that's nice. Secondary GT spoiler. So different uh, paint jobs. GT spoiler 2, so you can also have the back window with the spoilers. That's cool. And the uh, also in different paint jobs. That's that's nice. I like that. I like that they give you all the options. Okay, what else we got? Race spoilers. Very similar to the other one. I guess it's just the spoiler itself that's a little bit lower and different. Or, I should say, yeah, there we go. Squared. Oh, it matches the body frame a little bit better. Instead of the other one that's more finned, this one's more like with the body. Hmm. Okay. Race spoiler 2. Life is hard that would be the window anything. again. And that would be a completely open window. Well, super spoiler. Okay. Okay, so that's the options, and they're not all that cheap either. Twenty-two thousand for these some of these higher-end ones. Not not really expensive, but uh, that's pretty expensive for spoilers, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But it is a classic supercar. Super race. Super secondary race. That's nice. You know, I think I might uh, actually like that. The secondary is better. That's a big window. It's nice. It's open. But there you can kind of see it. It's kind of peeking out at you. Kind of like that. If anything, I might even be tempted to go with the classic one, guys. To make this like a, like a classic, you know. I think it would actually be this one, yeah. The race. And that's probably... Probably a very classic, you know, Ferrari look. But being that's for me, I'm thinking uh, I do like that little window. I don't know why, but I do. I do like it peeking out at you. Not the full window, just that Bubbles part window. I think that's pretty nice. It's probably going to go tinted when I, when I tint it. It's probably going to be hidden a little bit, but oh well. And I like how this this spoiler goes right to the edge, so it kind of matches the the body a little bit better, in my opinion. Although, you know, I do Your like all the other ones. On Gives you lots of different choices. So there's 20,000 for that one. Okay. Okay, so there's our tinted windows. Now, I did want to check, does it tint the back window? Oh, yay, Rockstar did. I wonder if they'll do this with other stuff. Be nice if they gave you the option, though, to go back and forth. But a lot of times they give you these windows and then they tint. And sometimes it'd be nice to not have them tinted so it shows your engine. And sometimes it's nice that they do tint. But I like that this one does not tint. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it not tint. I was expecting it to. So we got back tinted windows. It's nice. I like that. Getting a complete picture there. Limo. Limo tint for 5,000. All right. Okay. And I think that's all the main options now, guys. So now we go into our wheels. Now, the stock wheels aren't bad on this. Um, I think some people like them. But, uh, yeah, meh. I got to change them on these ones. Nothing too special to me. Whatever you desire. So let's see. Technology and budget permitting. Now, um, hmm, I should almost color it and then go back in, but that costs you money. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe a high end. Maybe a sport. Or maybe a black to go with the rest of the car, too. But a little bit of shine couldn't hurt it, you know. I don't think for this particular one. It's a shiny black car as opposed to like a stealth black. We're going for kind of like a show black, so 
That one might actually be decent too. The Dash Be VIP. Long and hard. You know, I think we might have found what I'm looking for. Now, there's a lot of really good choices, guys. I, I like mean cars too, right? But for this one, I was looking for a nice looking Ferrari, a classic look. And that's uh, a nice looking rim, you know? It's not too crazy. It kind of looks very classic. You can see through like I like, so you can see the brakes and all that stuff. And it's got some chrome outside here. And I'm pretty sure that it, that'll stay Life chrome, and this inside will stay, will, will let me color it, and that'll stay chrome. So I think that's what we're looking for. Something like that. Yeah, Dash VIP. 8,850. And dark earth. I think that dark earth is maybe nice because it's not too brown and it's not too silver. It's like just in between. It keeps the dark look but still a hint of color. Dark earth it is. 550. Isn't cheap for that one. Okay, tires. Tire design. Custom tires. Yeah, we'll get some custom tires. A little bit of detail on there. Sure. And bulletproof tires. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Those things are almost indestructible. Black tire smoke. Yeah, I don't think they have. It'd be that or brown. A brown one really wouldn't match it. Too bad they don't have a bronze or anything. I guess that'd be kind of hard. Hard smoke to make. We'll go with black. Okay. Wow, I think that is everything. Sun with a nice new Ferrari Testrosa. <laughs> yep, cheap glass. Hey, watch out, buddy. My new car. Careful. All right, so now we're gonna let's uh, let's open it up here. Mm. Vehicle doors. Oh. Boom. Okay, so our trunk is still empty in the front. And you can see the Ferrari logos in there and everything. Stop out here for a second. Too bad you couldn't give it some more detail uh, work on the sides and everything in the engine. Yeah, very, very happy with that. Now, some people um, love this car, and some people weren't too big on it. They weren't too sure what it was a big deal. It's okay if you don't like it, but a lot of people do. It, to a lot of people, this is a classic Ferrari. You know, it reminds people of uh, GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City. Um, you know, it's always been one of the better cars in the game, usually. And it's just kind of a throwback for a lot of people. You know, things like Miami Vice um, and their white one. Things like that, uh, bringing it onto the mainstream. Yeah. So, I like it. Let's take it over here to the beach. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, guys. Hope you guys are too. That's the Cheetah Classic. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Um, I'm really happy with these retro series, like the Classic Inferno, the Classic Turismo, um, and now we've got the uh, the Grotti uh, Cheetah Classic. And that to me adds to my uh, Grotti, uh, uh, what would it be, a Stinger GT? Yeah, which uh, is one of the uh, first online only cars, as we've said before. And it's uh, also a classic Ferrari. It's supposed to be a rare type of Ferrari, so yeah, very kind of cool kind of happy that they've been doing that. Hopefully they'll keep going, maybe give us a retro Mustang or some other stuff like that. It'd be nice too. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. That is our Grotty Cheetah Classic. I'm the Missing Sock. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Check in on our lifeguard friends. Hey, you staring at me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh must be staring at me. That or my boat. Yeah. yeah. As we discovered in our news episode, these guys will defend you sometimes and attack you. Jesus Christ! They don't like activity, though. <laughs> Move too fast, they don't like that. Alright. Well, yeah, I hope you guys like that. Like I said, there's lots of good colors for this one. Hope it gave you guys some good ideas. And we'll see you again soon for some more. Yeah, all around.
been quite happy with that. In a sense, it's almost surprising that they didn't have this car in the game already, you know, being it such a one of the uh, few iconic cars in the series. You know? It's a well-known well car. 